This classroom is true integration called project-based learning where kids are using lots and lots of math, science, and communication to complete a project or create a product. And they do that through learning technologically uh, infused curriculum and then they have to do something with it immediately. So it isn't just about learning how to use a scanner or learning how to use a camera, they're learning to use it to do something with it. So the problem or the product that they are tasked with creating requires them to have that information. And that's the neat thing is they learn something about it and then they do something with it right away. So they own it. They own that information. Hydroponic foam beds for the plants. I'm putting the, the little plants in the rock wool. Well, we're designing, not designing it, but we're making walls for the house. Practicing for the final project. Nice. They're working on individual, right now it's what's called interval one, where they're gaining information, so they're learning about the different things that they have to do, such as what bacteria is and how it grows, or all about hydroponics and what that means to our agricultural society and how it affects our life or I have some that are learning how to do basic web page design. What they will do, however, is they will come together as a team, uh, depending on their particular sub subject, and they will actually create that product or solve a challenge such as create a web page and a PowerPoint and then some sort of a catalog or a brochure. Right now I'm having to take my picture so that I can put it on a Adobe Photo Workshop so I can crop it and edit and fix it how I would like to. With what we're doing on our next team brief challenge thing, we have to present what our team challenge was and we have to state what we knew. We have to be professional about it. <laughs> it's difficult. <laughs> you have to be responsible and can learn to cooperate. Everybody finishes at a deadline, so the kids learn to do things within a time frame and they learn what it is to not meet a deadline as well and what happens when they don't. And at the end of that deadline, they project their information. They can use my smart board and the projector up front because everything is saved to a local server and they can present their information in many different formats to the rest of the class. And they get to tell not just what their challenge was and the process that they went through because it is a lot about process, but they actually get to say, this worked, this didn't, next time we would do this. And so again, it's a little more ownership of the project that they've been through and the information that they've shared.